Originally, we filmed it yesterday when our power was out, but our power was out, so it didn't look very good. And it was a little bit ironic that I was reviewing 100 Days of Sunlight when the only light we had was sunlight. So 100 Days of Sunlight is a book by a YouTuber, and she references it occasionally in the writing videos that she does. And I wanted to know why everyone in the comments always said, oh yes, yes, I agree wholeheartedly. So Tessa is a poetry blogger, um, and she's 16. And she is in a car accident with her grandmother, which causes her to lose her sight for 100 days. And since she is a poetry blogger, it's kind of hard to continue that when she can't see. So her grandparents, being very well-meaning, uh, she lives with her grandparents, um, they decide to put an ad in their local newspaper for um, someone to write down the poems and post them for Tessa. Nice idea, but she doesn't like that very much. She finds it annoying, and she doesn't like that someone is doing these things for her. So she doesn't like him at first. But gradually they get closer and by the end of a hundred days, they're friends. So one day Tessa texts Weston, I can see a tiny spot of vision, and he doesn't respond. There's a reason for this. See, what Tessa doesn't know is that Weston does not have his legs. He told Tessa's grandparents not to tell her that, and he didn't tell her that, and she doesn't know that. So when she starts to be able to see again, he has to decide, well, do I just disappear? Or do I, you know, own up to my fears of being seen? And the reason that he asked um, Tessa's grandparents not to tell her about him being disabled was because since she couldn't see, she treated him like she would have treated anyone else, which he hadn't gotten since he had to get his legs amputated. There are some Christian themes, and I enjoyed it. I'd say the age range, he like 12, 13 to 18, 19. If having language in the book affects your decision, this one might not be the best one because it does have some mild cussing. If anyone is kind of trying to write a book, whether it's a romance or not, they could definitely pick up the book because the relationships are also well written. The relationships between Weston and his brothers, Tessa and her grandparents. So I recommend it. Also, I'm drinking my new favorite tea that I didn't think I would like. It's the biscuit tea, which when it was first recommended to us, I thought, hmm, something I won't like. But I tried it, and it's good. And until next time, make sure to make time for teeny good books.